Hi. I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning crescent moon. And it's under the astrological sign of Aquarius. This reading, though, is for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides. What is the message for Capricorn? Mm. <gasps> wow. Mmm. <laughs> So somebody is just full of, you know what, they're just full of it. They're very hollow inside, just a mannequin, plastic. This person has no soul and um, they should walk a mile in your shoes. See how it feels to be real. <laughs> okay, Capricorn, somebody is full of it. They're very hollow inside. They need to walk a mile in the other's shoes. Hmm. So you two don't aren't feeling the same way as of now. Um, yeah. The, this is a wake-up call. A time to move in a new direction. You could be seeing 555. A lot of five fives, well, that means it's time for change. Five is a number of change. Um, it's time to change, time to do something different, time to learn something new, put yourself around different people to experience different opportunities. Okay, Capricorn. Because what you are currently around is, you know you've outgrown it. It's time to move. Mm -hmm. What else, Spirit? Capricorn, under this waning. And you know, I think you finally resigned yourself to this fact, Capricorn. I don't know why. But, you know, I feel like under this waning crescent moon, you kind of know, look, this is, come on. Because this is a situation that, or a person that you have been dealing with for some time. And it's like you come to the realization that this is not going anywhere. It's This is a wake-up call. Um, you know, you, you've walked a mile here. Yes. And things now are revealed for, to you, you know, like when the student is ready the teacher appears and that's the wake-up call i feel like you're being revealed to the fact that this is not going to change that there should be no more chances there's been second chances third for some of you even more for others but um you've seen the light yeah this is about you seeing the light um and when you see the light you know the light always leads you in a new direction if you follow the light you're being led and that's what i feel like you're being led out of some darkness your eyes you're starting to see things differently Whew, tell me more capricorn Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Capricorn under this waning? Yeah, this is the ending of a cycle. And, you know, you don't feel bad about it because you gave it your all. You gave it your all. It's not like you... Yeah, like I said, this is a situation that you have gone back and forth with. There's been like third, fourth, fifth chances. You've given it the opportunity to change, them to grow. You know, look at this, Seven of Pentacles. Yes, yes, but it's time for movement. Again, two cards of movement, major change. I mean, how much more of this do you need to take in order for you to do this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You've seen the light. You've been walking in the light. I mean, every time that you went back and it still didn't work, it was just like confirmation. More light was shed um, to make you draw new conclusions. This is all about insight, visions, intuition, wisdom, growth. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else, spirit? 
Yeah. It's like all the energy that you have been given to this situation, you have to transmute that. It's time for it to move. You know, when spirit shows up, first of all, you have two major arcanas out of three cards. Two of them are majors. I mean, if that's not growth, look how deep those roots are. You know, this is something that's sustainable. Um, the knowledge and wisdom that you've amassed to date this is future energy, but this is sustainable. You know, this allows you to plot your course differently in the future. <laughs> wow. Tell me more, Spirit. Anything else? Tell me more. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of resistance here. Um, there was a lot of growth, you know, uh, a lot of push and pull and you know you had to keep it moving you had to do work here this work was to transmute you was to bring about this change this major growth make your roots deeper into something that is going to sustain you this, it prepared you for the future and at this point spirit is recognizing all the hard work that you put in you know, even though it ended, you grew and that was the whole purpose, his objective for you even being in this relationship. I think you could have left a little earlier. I just heard you didn't have to stay quite so long. Yeah. You know, th this is somebody who was always pushing your buttons. They knew how to get attention out of you, negative attention, seductive intention. This is somebody that had a lot of influence over you. Um, they are like, they don't want you to go. They don't want you to go. It's like you, you know, you think they had a lot of influence over you, but you're never together with a soulmate. And whether it's a good soulmate or a bad soulmate, this was a soulmate. You're never with them so that only one person learns from the relationship. Oh, no. Both of you influenced each other. And, you know, that could have been that heavy influence, whatever that's about. Mm -hmm. All of that needs to change. This drama, you know, this was a relationship centered around drama, a lot of attention, meaning others from the outside influenced this relationship. Mm hmm. Okay, spirit. Yeah, others were heavily involved somehow, Capricorn, in your relationship, influencing your person. That's why the whole thing just became a, a nightmare. It was just full of it. You know, the, the life was carved out of the relationship. It became very hollow because your interests started to change because others became involved. Another card of change. Yes, you're being told now it's time to have the courage to do what you're being told to do. Some of you are being told to relocate. You know, the chariot is about travel, putting some distance, getting a new place, um, taking a trip and, and reaching out. You know, you can communicate. People like to talk to you. You're a good communicator. And um, but you need to listen to the communication you're receiving through the eight of wands because that's going to give you courage. There's some swift communication coming into your intuition telling you what to do. It's this waning crescent moon energy telling you to just surrender and go with the flow. It's time to make a move. You know, now you have three cards telling you it's time to change. It's time to make a move. And you know what that move is. Just one word. Leave it in the comments. Tell me what that one word is that you're being told. Move. Um, leave. Uh, whatever. Just remain open. This is also a time of receptivity. You know, when spirit speaks to us, we have to be receptive to receive the message. Right? And receptive to do what the message is telling us to do. This is all about your free will. And we know in the past that something blocked it. But now is the time to prepare for this new moon that's coming in Capricorn. It is in 
the sign of Pisces, okay? So, first of all, he doesn't want you to have any illusions about this being the time to make a move. That's why change is here three times. Relocation, moving on, new direction, the chariot. It doesn't get more clearer than that. You know, this is the end of a cycle here. And when one door closes, you have to move. You can't just stand there looking at it, right? It's time for change, no doubt. Mm. So, um, some of you have been hiding for a long time the fact that you do want to move, that the time has come for you to spread your wings and fly, I just heard. You know, you've been thinking about it, but you haven't said anything. And you know what? That's been blocking your ability to actually do things. You've been moving in silence. You've been secretive. Um, you haven't really been letting them know your plans, right? But... I think the courage is building now. You know it's time for change. It's time for you to execute that plan. There you go. That's what Spirit just said. You've thought about it, right? Um, you you figured the, the pros, the cons, and now it's time for you to execute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're looking at your finances with the six of... Um, pentacles and you're preparing, you're getting your finances in order, um, anticipating what is going to be asked for, knowing you're going to have to come up with more. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's for some of you. The big thing is, um, to apologize to yourself. Uh, forgive yourself for staying in this too long, for even getting involved with a situation as such. Some are saying whatever you need to forgive yourself for, Capricorn, definitely now is the time to do that in preparation for the new moon. Because, you know, forgiveness is letting go of the past. It's dropping any grudges, anger, resentment. You don't need to box that up and take that with you. When you're making this move, you do not take anything from the past with you. And that's why forgiveness is here. You know, they've done some stuff to you with this uh, full of it, hollow behavior. Forgive them. You're, you're moving on past that. Um, you know, they could want your forgiveness. And if that's the case, by all means, give it to them. You know, what do you want to hold on to that for? Give it to them. You know, some of you are concerned that when they come back asking for your forgiveness, they're going to sucker you in again. Because like I said, I feel like this has been like third, fourth, fifth chances, a lot of chances. And for some reason, you've succumbed to their seduction. In some cases, it's seduction. They seduced you back into the relationship. I mean, they sexed you because they know what buttons to push, baby. They know exactly where to touch you, how to make you move. And somehow they always suck at you back in. Their apology always went straight to your heart. And so some of you are concerned about crossing that bridge again. Will you be able to, where is it? Have the courage to keep it walking. Mm. And if you've really surrendered to the fact that they're just full of it, this is full of it. You know, these shoes are made for walking. <laughs> yeah, Spirit says stop sabotaging yourself. Stop sabotaging yourself. Um, five of Swords, you know, you, you keep fighting yourself. Um, you allow them to have control over you. Yeah, you know, they all they have to do is open their legs and allow you to take a, a peek. Ooh, <laughs> that's what I envision. Because I feel like the seduction is what makes you forgive them and everything it becomes right back where it left off. <laughs> you just continue where you left off. And, you know, that's what you're trying to avoid. That was 1444 at the time that I said that. Yeah, but this time is different. 
This time is different. Capricorn. This time is different or it needs to be. And under this new moon in Pisces, this is encouragement if I ever saw it that you need to listen to your intuition. Um, you'll be receiving some downloads uh, subconsciously, probably like in your dreams. And Spirit wants you to know right off the bat um, that something like this is planned. They're coming, baby. And they know your buttons. Like I said, they know your buttons. That's why he wants you to be ready for this. Because they're coming. They're coming. Um, <laughs> where is it? Yeah, they want to control you. They don't want you going nowhere. Uh-uh. You Where you think you're going? Right? They know what button to push, how to seduce you, and boom. So your intuition is going to be strong. You know, there could be some fear associated with you leaving. Um, but your intuition is going to tell you. Yeah, you know, see, bottom of the deck. They are going to tempt you. They're the tempers. They are, you know, they are going to seduce you. It's coming. Oh, yeah. Make wise choices because you are being warned. Some of you are being warned. I, I just see them making the play. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, they miss you and your past lives bring you back again. They're definitely coming for a second chance in order to do what spirit is telling you. You have all these cards of change. Um, you're going to have to listen to your intuition to mm, not let their seduction seduce you back into a relationship. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. If you were able to identify with something that was said, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Definitely leave me a comment. For those of you who already have, thank you so much for your support. And for those of you who haven't, check out your readings for your other signs in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. You're so much more than your sun sign. And um, until the next moon phase, Capricorn, namaste.